Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dev's Kingdom. This is Jacob. So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, hybrid models. So there's a good example. Uh, it's called Deep Cloud. What it does is to combine deep seek RWAS reasoning and cloud's creativity to generate response. So instead of using just one model to generate response, it actually combines the result of two models. So, but we're not going to go through the Deep Cloud setup in this video. Instead, uh, we're going to show you how to use any two models to generate a better response. And if you want to check out the Deep Cloud, they're also available on GitHub. So it's under get asterisk deep cloud. And you can see there are already a lot of interest, um, but uh, we're not going to use the deep cloud combination uh, because they're all paid versions. We're going to talk about how to build an open source version using different models with Ader. And by the way, so this deep cloud is already getting a very high score in Ader's leaderboard. So if you go to Ader's leaderboard, you can see with Deep Seek R1 and Cloud 3.5 combination, it got number one place. So, but we're gonna use the open source models to build a similar thing. Uh, so we're gonna show you how to do that in this video. So if you go to this uh, configuration section and search for editor model, so, and go to this architect mode and add a model. So basically, Ader supports this hybrid model. So, which means you can actually use two models to generate response rather than just using one model, as most of the coder does. So, if you go to this um, section and you can see that the main model is basically uh, the architect. So, it tells you what to do or analyze your prompt and then generate better response. So, and then edit the files, which is the execution model. It takes the response from the architect and then generate the actual response and output to the user. So to do that, you just have to specify the model and the editor model, and also the other associated parameters. So we're gonna demo this on IDX. So if you go to IDX, then you have to first install Ader. If you have not installed Ader, just do a pip install Ader chat. That should be it. Then you have to uh, better create a virtual environment as well. And uh, after you created uh, this Ader folder and also installed this Ader package, then you can start with the configuration to use two models. So first, um, the easiest way is to actually create a, a Ader configuration YAML file. But you also have to create an environment file. I'll explain why. So um, if you would just create ader.configuration.yaml file, you need to specify a few parameters as I demo here. So first is architect. Make sure you turn that on because it's true. Then you used, uh, if you use OpenAI, that's good enough. So like we actually use the OpenAI base that was set up on Kaggle. Uh, you can see it in here. So we already set up the OpenAI with DeepSeq R1. So uh, and use the VLM. So I have uh, a tutorials for VLM setup. You can check out a couple of videos here. The one is for the DeepSeq R1 Q132B, how to set that up with the VLM on Kaggle for free. And also we have Ader client uh, VLM setup. And the other one we have is the client 3.2 VLM setup. If, feel free to check those out. So um, after you set up VLM with DeepSeq R1, then you can go back to this Ader and then set up the OpenAI API base as the VLM instance, which is OpenAI compatible URL. And also you have to pass in the API key which you already passed, uh, set up in this VLM. You can check in here. Let me scroll it a little bit down, you can see. So this is the API token we set up. After you set up this OpenAI parameters, then you can specify the model. The model we're using 
is deep seek R1, they still could win 32 B Q4. So specify the model name. That should be the architect model. Then you have to specify the act model, which is they call the editor model to run the execution. So we can use uh, Grog. You can use any other models like Gemini, another OpenAI model, Anthropic. Even you can use DeepSeek V3. You can use any model to execute. But for planning, you better use the reasoning model. It does plan very well. Then I will also enable multi-lexer too. So this will all have to set up in the editor configuration YAML. But for some of the models, such as Grog, you cannot actually set up the uh, token or API key in this file, right? So you do need another file, which is uh, environment.env file. You have to put your Grog API key in this file or any other API key that does not support within editor conf.yaml. You can also set everything up in here in the .env file, but we try to keep everything clean and clear. So this one, we set up the structure and the environment files. We basically put everything in the environment files. So that should be it. So after you set up the editor conf.yaml file and the environment file, you're good to go. So how to verify that? Just create a uh, folder as I created in here is a test editor and just enter Aider. So this will give you a few prompts. Just hit no. And you can see that the Aider version that we use is uh, 0 0.73. The model we're using, which is the architect model to do the planning, is OpenAI DeepSeq R1 Distill Cuban 32B Q4. So this is what we set up with VLM Kegel for free. And it's really, really good. The other one is the execution model, which is also called editor model or act uh, using Clyde client terms. If you go to climb, you can see that plan and act. So that's architect and the executioner. So if you go back to Aider, you can see that's the Grok model we use to execute the plan. So um, the multi-line model is also enabled. So there you can actually uh, edit similar to a, a editor. So that should be it. Then you can start pasting your question. So for example, the question that we asked for this combination of the models or hybrid model is we want to create a landing page for a crypto trading company, right? The landing page should have four sections, the header and the hero banner features and contact us. We want to create these four sections and also want to uh, make this page look slick and modern. And basically we also want to make sure it use a inline HTML, CSS and JS to make them be uh, written in one file. And also we want to say create a file. If, if you don't say create a file, they probably will not create a file. It probably will, but uh, better to specify this as well. So after you create this prompt, the architect will analyze your prompt and generate a better prompt. So this is the first response from the architect, which is the actual better prompt for the executioner. So if you can see that, this is really, really good prompt. Right, it's very good. So not like the very simple things that we demonstrated here, but a way better, more concrete prompt you can generate from the architect. Then it will pass all this better prompt to the execu executor, right? Executor. So then uh, the executor will start uh, generate the actual response. You can see from here. So this is actually a better response, right? So after they generate all this response, which takes about a few minutes. So then you will see this create new file. Yes, we did create a new file. After uh, you uh, enter yes, it will add this file to index.html that you can see in here. And if you just go to uh, IDX console and click this 8000 port, which already spin up this um, server, just using Python 3-M, HTTP server 8000 as a port. You can set up any port. Uh, we just use 8000 as a port. Then you can see the uh, instances running here. So you just click this icon, which will open another window in here. So you can see this is the crypto trading company landing page that we just built. So you can see it's a very, very good looking and the layout is really, really cool. 
So, and it works. So you can see this actually checks the uh, field if it's empty or not. And you can see the home page, go to the banner, right? The hero banner, the features goes to features, the contacts goes to contact. So it's very well done. So with this combination of uh, architect or the the result is way better than just one model. So that's what I want to show you uh, in this video to how to use hybrid model to generate way better outcome. So that being said, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.